My name is Gina Genschla and I'm one of the owners of Revolution Wines. Our wine is made right here on this corner and we try to source as locally as possible. I think we have a, a, a much more expansive portfolio that can showcase a lot of different areas. Being in Sacramento, we have Sacramento County, Clarksburg, Amador, Napa, Sonoma. Uh, my name is Craig Harmeyer. Uh, I'm one of the managing partners of Revolution Wines and my primary area of responsibility is uh, production. Last year I made 40 wines, the year before that 34 wines. This year uh, we're slated to do another 30, 35 wines. Right now is definitely the busiest time of the year. Harvest, crush, sometimes very uncomfortably busy. Very long hours, it's seven days a week, anywhere from 10 to 18 hours a day. You know, a short day is 10 hours. My father and my grandfather are both from Italy. We kind of had like a self-sufficient farm growing up. You know, we had all of our own cattle and chickens and rabbits, like a year-round vegetable garden. Garden. We also made wine, um, so that's how I grew up. The hard work that goes into the winery and all of the production, I was pretty much accustomed to. That's how I grew up. In the industry, you hear a lot of talk about the trend towards lowering alcohol, and that's perceived as being better. Our philosophy here is if you make a lighter, fruitier, a low alcohol wine, um, you can better enjoy it and pair it with food. You know, before we had the bistro, we always knew that we wanted to bring the two together. All of the menu items were designed to pair with the wines to kind of showcase um, the flavors in the wines. We're open Tuesday through Sunday. We're noon to nine during the week and 10. We stay open a little bit later on Fridays and Saturdays. People can stop in here before they go and see a play on a Friday night and have a glass of wine. The second Saturday, we generally have live music and um, we feature a local artist each month. The winemaking process starts with, of course, sourcing the grapes. So building relationships with growers that we feel are doing a really good job and produce a high quality grapes. So we, uh, we use a, uh, what's called a, a must pump. The must is the juice and the skins and the seeds. The screw sump pushes the must to the must pump and the must pump um, pushes it into tank. We want to get nice, rich, dark color. So we will cool down the tank. There's a cooling jacket you may have noticed. It's called a dimple jacket. It has a bunch of dimples on it. It goes around the tank. Uh, we we uh, pump a, uh, a coolant through this so-called jacket uh, so we can regulate the temperature uh, of what's in the tank. And so cold soaking allows the, the juice and the skins to sit for a, a, an extended period of time before the yeast is active. With this particular lot, we are uh, adding yeast, cultured yeast. Some of our ferments are what we call a native. We don't, we don't inoculate them with, with cultured yeast. It's whatever yeast comes in with the fruit from the vineyard. Many of the whites we, we bottle just after they're made, uh, the lighter to crisper white such as such as Sauvignon Blanc or Pinot Gris, Chardonnay, Viognier, we usually will bottle a portion of it the following spring and then a reserve Chardonnay for instance might not get in the bottle until uh, maybe a year or more. Nugget Market, um, various restaurants around town, uh, we are going to have our white wine featured at one speed. Will be their um, house white wine, but all of our wines are such small lots that we really can't release too much out there. So mostly available here. 